You know, it really saddens me. I remember this game two years ago. And over the years, this game has slowly been sucked from the majority of its horror aspects. This game used to be the good mix of horror and fun, but now it's just fun. Now, before I get into what I think could fix the horror problem, I want to address the main problem. SCPSL is a game of many genres, but the main genres that I will be discussing here are FPS and horror. Now, FPS and horror kind of don't combine as well. In FPS games, it is beneficial to have minimal distractions and smooth gameplay to keep its player focused, while in horror games, it is beneficial to have multiple distractions and unreliable gameplay causing players to need to think on their toes and be scared. Northwood has been appearing to favor the FPS side of things. They have made ambience music and noises quieter. They have made the facility brighter so it's easier to see, as well as many other things. This is fine, but I have a controversial take. To make a game off of SCPs and not make it scary or make it a horror game is inexcusable. I feel Northwood would be disrespecting the fandom with making the game less about horror and SCPs and more about FPS. I know this is off topic, but my video about SCP-096, one comment I got from the video, I remember it really sticking out to me. It discussed how the mechanic of having to look down was not enjoyable for the player. While this is true for an FPS game, it's not so much for a horror game, which is why this game is so absent of horror features. A lot of people complain when there is something that makes the game scarier and more unique in the horror aspect because it makes it less enjoyable in the FPS side of the game. If you don't know what red herrings are, they are aspects of a game that are solely meant to distract or misguide you. A good example would be a sound that plays for no reason and serves no purpose. Anybody watching this video who has played SPSL or any horror game should know what I'm talking about. Now, SPSL has these, and I'm sure all of you have heard them, but they don't have enough. The red herrings they have right now are really easy to tune out when you get used to the game, and there's just not a lot of variety. This game could definitely benefit from a wider variety of red herrings. Here are a couple of examples. some things that I didn't find audio for, which is hints to other SCPs not in the game, SPSL, the sound effect of a door opening, the sound effect of a door closing, the sound effect of an elevator being called uh, a crying, and muffled voices. Now to quickly justify mostly the next solution, but also the next three, um, I want to give an example of why sound effects on top of events happening in a game make things scarier. Now I can give two examples to help visualize this. Now first, <laughs> now regardless if that scared you or not, I want you to think, what was scary about it? Was it the change of scenery? Or was it the sudden, abrupt noise? Or maybe it was a combination of them both. This is why sounds help with events happening in the game. Now, this might not be the best example because it is a jump scare, but it is an example, and it is a good example. So aligning with what I just said, 
here are some scenario specific noises that will play on top of an event that is currently happening to add an extra layer of horror and depth. A tense noise went on surface as a D-class and you see the helicopter landing. A tense noise went on surface as a scientist and you see the chaos van pulling up. An eerie noise when you try to fire a gun that you have no ammo for when in danger. A creepy ambience to play when in the dark. A creepy ambience to play when in SCP-244's fog. And an ambience to play when a D-class with a COM-15. Inspirational but scary. I think a small change like this will make a huge difference, and a huge good difference. There's only two SCPs that have a jump scare noise, SCP-173 and SCP-096. Why haven't they added a jump scare for any other of the SCPs? Now, not only do I want to give the other SCPs a jump scare noise, but on every SCP to have two variants of a jump scare that are one being just seeing them roaming the halls naturally and two a scenario specific jump scare now first for scp-096 we already have you know the roaming around jump scare i think the scenario specific jump scare should be when you see scp-096's face when he's already enraged I was thinking the sound would be like the one they have currently, but more amplified and more portraying the message that you fucked up. SCP-106, the jump scare played while SCP-106 walks around should be an unnerving mixture of SCP-106's breathing and screams of his last victims. SCP-106 scenario specific jump scare will be given when you see him emerging from his stock mode. I was thinking a suspenseful noise with a chuckle from SCP-106. SCP-939, the scenario-specific jump scare for SCP-939 will be when you see it leaping. It will be a short, abrupt jump scare noise. Think of a basic thriller movie jump scare. SCP-049, the standard jump scare should be a slow noise that creeps up on you, and the scenario-specific jump scare should be when you see SCP-049 reviving a dead corpse. The jump scare will be short, but drawn out, Quiet, pungent, and an eerie noise. Now, SCP-049-2, the standard jump scare will be a short, abrupt noise. And the scenario-specific jump scare will be when seeing SCP-049 eating a dead corpse. It will have to be frightening and a loud, staggering noise. If you played old SPSL, you'll remember that containment breach beat that would play whenever you saw an SCP. Now this beat made it very intimidating and unnerving when interacting with SCPs, but sadly they removed it. But they didn't make any more chase music, which I really think they should. Now I don't know if they haven't implemented it because of it being a distraction or because you know containment breach was it was a stolen asset and they just don't want something stolen on the platform who knows but i still think they should interpret chase music as it's really scary okay so for scp-096 think of the old theme track and how the screams of scp-096 are used but instead of containment breaches 096 screams it is the current SCP-096 screams, with a mysterious and unnerving beat in the background. Uh, SCP-106, now I just want to get this out of the window, SCP-106 has the most potential, because you can make everything absolutely terrifying while still keeping it lore-based. I was thinking of a theme track of screams of terror, whispering, and SCP-106 breathing and or laughing. I think the laughing be pretty cool and scary um next i have sp049 a simple but scary chase beat overplayed by sp049's footsteps ringing a uh, combination of scps so if there is more than one scp chasing you there is this really unnerving the most tense the most scary the most unnerving chase music of them all and for the other scps i just couldn't really 
figure of a chase music. 